Okay, on a previous video tutorial, I talked about how to take um, a graphic and uh, vectorize it, uh, making it um, uh, easy to engrave. Well, now I want to show you how to actually add it to your symbols library so you can bring it up on any file that you would like to use it on. So I'm going to click on File, Import, and on my desktop I still have my uh, Gustavus uh, logo here and uh, this is a EPS file and when I bring this in um, it, it uh, generally puts a box around the outside of it. Uh, what I'm going to do to fix this up is that actually I'm going to ungroup the logo. Okay, So now it's a, a bunch of pieces. Uh, click off to the side so nothing is selected. Then select the outside edge and click uh, delete. So I'm left with, uh, with uh, my logo here. Uh, I know it looks kind of goofy but now if I um, select it all by uh, dragging a box over the whole thing and then hit the group button or combine button it'll uh, clean it all up for me. So here's my logo. I want to I'm gonna keep this and uh, don't worry Gustavus I have no intention of actually using this on a commercial product I'm just using this as a uh, demonstration of what you can do with graphics. Um, okay so if you select the object, you've got, um, of course, the uh, red boxes around the outside of it. Uh, click on your symbols library. You can actually add it to um, any of your um, any of your folders here. If I right click on symbols library, I can add a directory, and we could call this uh, logos. Okay. Now, if I scroll down, I've got um, my directory called logos and I'll hit add. It'll ask me to name it. I'll say uh, GAC, Gustavus Adolphus College. Hit OK. And there it is. Now it's in my symbols library. I can close that. I can uh, I could delete this or I can go to uh, I can open up an, another file, you know, maybe uh, oh let's find something here. Here's a plaque. I can open up another file. I can um, quickly, uh, if I group everything that's actually on this one already, if I group this, this is like one object, I can go to my symbols library, go to logos, click on the Gustavus logo there, hit OK, and drop it in the, um, drop it in the file here. I'm going to resize it just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to click here where I've grouped this all together, so this is like one object. Uh, clicking that first, that's my anchor, hold my control key down, click on the, uh, the logo there, um, use my alignment tools here, and I can uh, use these two buttons to align it horizontally or vertically, or both, of course, is what you want to do, or uh, on the newer version, this button will center it all in one click. Okay, I know that looks like it's a mess, but we're going to click off to the side, and then um, just click on the um, background, whoops, let me try that again click on the background information and hit delete. So now I've centered that on the, t or on the uh, plaque just like that.